Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Uncle Lou's Fishing TV. I'm wearing gloves today because I got a couple of pokes in my hands. I just don't want any, you know, infections or anything like that. So today, today, by the way, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And thank you for watching my videos. I want to let you know without you guys, there will be no me. I mean, I'll still fish, but, you know, I'll never be able to share my content with the world. But anyway, so, <laughs> guys, you're going to get a kick out of this one. I challenged myself to make a lure, uh, to make, to be particular, a square bill crankbait only with what I have in the house. Um, if you look under here, I put a piece of, uh, you know those little can tea light candles? A piece of metal um, and some ball bearings inside there. And just, you know, I, it's all sealed up with crazy glue, so it is uh, waterproof. Uh, if you did look at the short, you've seen that it does float. But we're gonna see if we get bit on this crazy little thing. And here's the pond. Nice, beautiful, rainy day. All right, so, and again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Should be fun. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what's gonna bite this thing. I got some really stout hooks on here. So, uh, really good. So if we do hook up, it's gonna hook up. Not sure about the hook keeper though, too much because of what I had to do, but you guys should be able to see you know what I had to do there but yeah it was fun making it it, it was a kick I, I got a kick out of it all right so we're gonna tie it up to the reaction rod um again we have uh we got the favorites reel on there eight to one whatever eight four to one do ratio um but yeah, this, this video should be uh, a doozy. A doozy. So, let's see. It's pretty cold out right now. So, I think we'll get to it, though. I can't wait to see the action on this day. 12 pound, 12 pound fluorocarbon. Um, should be alright, anyway. Let's hope we don't. As long as we don't hit that, that, that metal piece. I didn't think that through, guys. But that's all I had. I didn't have anything else to use in the house. So, let's hope it doesn't break off while we cast it. That could be the worst possible scenario right now. Breaking off on that metal. I did not think that through. Man, I did not think that through. All right, as you can see, it's, it's tied up. Let's go uh, look at the action on this sucker, if we can see it. Let's see, it's pretty rainy out right now, but we might get bit, I don't know. It has a rattle to it. Let's see if, we get, if you guys can actually hear that though. Let's hold the hooks. And again, that is two bearings, two BBs, and, uh, well, BBs, yeah, two BBs, and the tin from a tea light candle, piece of tin. Let's see. We know it floats. Now let's see if it swims. It has no action whatsoever in the water. Zero. Zero action. No wobble at all. Why? Why doesn't it have a wobble? It should have a wobble. Should we bend this down a little bit and see if that works? No, we can't do that. Well. <laughs> Let's see. Cast well. Mm. 
Dives down, but no wobble at, oh, there's a wobble. Oh, is that a strike? Is that a wobble or a strike? We'll just have to depend on the, the BBs. That's what we're gonna have to depend on, guys, because this thing has no wobble at all. Why? It had a wobble when I first did it. Oh, we just got stung. Man, why doesn't this thing have a wobble anymore? I don't understand that. Is it the beak? Is it the... It had a wobble when there wasn't a um, square bill on there. It dives pretty good though, I'll tell you that. That sucker dives through the water. Floats pretty good too. Yeah, we're gonna have to depend on those BBs. Oh, they had a little wobble to it. They had a little wobble. Yeah, it has a little shimmy. It has a very, very, very little shimmy to it. Very little. <laughs> We're just gonna have to hop this sucker then, huh? Just gonna have to jerk it. Oh my god. This is so uh, this is the dumbest idea I've ever had. At least if it gives it a little gives those BBs a little little time, you know? A little uh Weird, weird, weird. Just a bit. 
peaches maybe. I mean the where the lemon guy is. Maybe that should be. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see that was. Could have been my um, line. Oh, that's my twelve final line from yesterday. I think. Hopefully that's my um, seeker. Can you imagine that? Let's see. Wobbles when it's on the bottom. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? Get that line. There's a line right here somewhere that I keep missing. There it is, right there. No, that's not it. Oh, it's 
raining pretty good, man. Back to the drawing board with this one. Good. Still standing up to its. Still, yeah. I think the uh, the the it has to go down a little bit more. The bill, the square bill, in order to wobble. Because there's plenty of weight on there to wobble. When I tested it without the the bill, I just tied it up, you know, right to the bottom hook keeper. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, hook keeper where the trebles go. It worked pretty good. I don't, I don't get it. Weird.
come on, really? <laughs> oh, oh. Man, I'm trying all kinds of stuff. Woo! Alright, it's time to go warm up a little bit. <laughs> That's got to be the funniest thing. Um, let's see if we can make some adjustments while we're in the truck sitting for a few minutes. There's got to be uh, something we can do to make some adjustments on it. Um, yeah, there's got to be something that we can do. Let's warm up a little bit here. Yeah. I think it's these gloves that are making my hands cold, actually. I don't think it's anything else but the gloves. Alright. So, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back to the pond. It stopped raining probably for a few minutes. We're gonna get back down there and 
Let's see what we can get ourselves into. Um, I still have that. What is that doing? What is going on here? Oh, you get so agitated. I just, I, I just went around and untangled it. I really need a better rod system. Really? It's a little bit ridiculous. Like war, right? a little bit. What now? What I'm hooked on now? Please, please. Get my rods. I just don't want to get to my rods. Still gotta catch something on that coon tail and this XB5. XB5, we got a bite yesterday, but. Oh, I wanna talk to you guys for a minute too. Let's tell you what, guys, if you're having difficulties in your life, financial, whatever they are, depression, stress, anxiety, I tell you what, I feel you. And there's no one gonna get you out of it but you. You gotta figure it out like I'm trying to because I'm struggling right now with this whole YouTube thing I'm trying to get earnings out of it um, and it's hard oh my gosh it's hard I just I started a little fundraiser to see if I can get you know little funds going to help me you know while, while I'm doing this YouTube thing but it's hard, man. Nobody wants to really show support to you. Um, and it's just fishing. That's all I'm doing. I'm just fishing, guys. I just want to fish. I just want to show you guys what I love. And if I can teach you guys something, you know, in the midst of it, why not? All right, so here's that challenge we were doing. I just built this from at home with stuff that I had at home. It has no wobble to it whatsoever. But... We're trying to see if we can get bear and at least catch a fish on it. You know? So far we were unsuccessful in the pouring rain this morning. Um, I, it had action to it before I put that metal bill on it. I don't know what the heck happened. I think I have to adjust it down. I don't know. I, I can't do it right here. Well, I can, but... Oh, man. Where my other pie is at? Let me see here. Let's see if it'll do it. But basically, man, I am so stressed out financially right now. Oh, gosh. I need you guys to put some challenges down there that you want to see. So... I can get some more subscribers and attract some attention. Get some, get something going here. I, I mean, I put some job applications in, but man, I've worked so hard all my life for what? To do something I don't love. I mean, I love helping people and that's what I was doing, but company I was with didn't give two craps about it you know and I'm only one person I, I made a difference but couldn't keep it going because you don't have the backing of that company then what do you have nothing you know it's on their dime you can only do so much and they treat people like crap I don't know why people would get treated like crap for real. It's just, I don't know. Anyway, it's cold, rainy, but this is what I do. I don't care. This is what I do, fish. And I fish all winter, guys. I fish all fall, all winter. I fish all year round. 
If there's open water, I'm finding it. We're gonna dart this thing around. That's what we're gonna have to do, it seems like, because there's no action to this thing whatsoever. It's fun though, I'll tell you that. It is fun, just thinking, like if, there, if a monster gets on here, I think I built it sturdy enough that it will hold the monster. And I got BBs in there and a little tin. <laughs> oh man, anyway. It, it's something. We'll see. We'll see what we can get out of it. It floats at least. I mean, it swims. I just gotta um, do that, fix that bill, I think. That, uh, yeah, the lip. I just gotta fix that lip. And then it'll wobble again. I don't have my pliers with me. I don't know where they are. I think I left them on my desk. But at least the daggone thing swims. Now, what we're relying on right now is the B are the BBs. That's the only thing we're relying on. And maybe that little flash from the the, the crank the crank itself. The lipless. I mean, not lipless. The bill. Yeah, that. We're relying on its darting motion. <laughs> Oh man, am I so stressed out that it just, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> 12 pound test, that's what we're lying on. <laughs> oh. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me. I'm curious about something though, guys. I'm gonna put this down for a second and see if I can get a bite on something else. Get this a little break. can't something eat it like it did yesterday maybe not maybe there's not enough rattle in it because this water is pretty dirty right now put this down for a second I'm gonna see if we can get on a the XB5 bite this is my favorite bait too of all times their chartreuse not this color in particular it got bit yesterday though I did, I did get bit a couple of times but no uh, I didn't set the hook I guess I have no clue what happened honestly Oh. 
we got we just got whacked it's definitely my bait how come it's not i don't understand how come it's not committing now Weird. That was a weird bite. Slow it down a little bit. That's what I need to do.
Nice and healthy, huh? Oh man, he's heavy. Nice protecting clamps. Woo <laughs> Look at that, guys. Wow. He's beautiful too. Beautiful smally on the XB5. Let's uh turn this power on. Let's see if we uh, hey, 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 hey. I don't want to ruin your lips, bud. Hey, hey, relax. Hey, buddy, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get you back in. All right. Let's get a weight on this guy quick and get him back in. Come on. Come on. Clear. Hold. Easy, easy. I don't want to ruin your lips, dude. You're, you're awesome fish, man. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. All right. Come on. Come on. All right, clear, zero, zero. Let's see here, get them going here. Three pounds, two ounces, woo! Yes, look at that. Three pounds, hold, hold, hold. Okay, buddy, okay. Three pounds, two ounces. He's a fat, he's eating good. Look at that, all right. Throw that down for a second here. All right, guys, we got a beautiful small. All right, let's get it going. All right, we had a weight on him of oh, guys, it was three pounds. Hold on, let's get some. Let's give him a drink quick. He's beautiful. Three pounds, two ounces. Uh, let's get him a drink. We don't want to keep him out of the water too awful long. All right, right there, perfect. Get him a drink. There we go. There. Okay, buddy, we're just getting you a drink because I got to get a couple pictures. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Easy does it. Easy does it, cowboy. Scale zeroed out. And there we go. Oh my god. Oh, let's switch the kilos. Clear units, pounds, and ounces. All right. 
There we go. All right, stop moving, stop moving. All right, you shuffle in between three pounds, three ounces, and three pounds, two ounces. XP5. We get another bit. We need pictures of them. All right, hold on, bud. I gotta get pictures. All right, guys, we haven't had him out the water too long, so and we keep getting him a drink, so that's okay. He'll be fine. There we go. Ah, beautiful fish, man. He is beautiful. He is. All right, all right, time to get him back in and release him. There we go, buddy. Thanks, bud. You are amazing. I love you. Let's get a nice underwater release of him. Three pounds, three ounces, smally. Underwater shot. See you, buddy. To the depths he goes. All right. That was uh, on the XB5, guys. Beautiful smallmouth. Three pounds, three ounces. Love it. Love it. Love you guys. Oh gosh, right, we needed that guys. We really needed that. It's been a grind. It's been a heck of a grind. All right, well. He did good. He did good. Let's check our line. Make sure that we don't have any. This lit man, this little pond produces. Woo! Loving it. Right in the tree. Oh, and it's it broke off in the tree too. Alright, gotta go get that. Alright. <laughs> I just broke off in the tree. That's stupid. All right, that one was on the XB5 from my monthly Monster Bass subscription. You should guys go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, we got a few. All right, where'd it go? Dad, going it. It's out there too. Let's get this stick. Whoa, that's freezing. That's freezing. Shit. Let me go get my pole. Excuse my French, guys. Oh, man. Use this one, it has a strong backbone to it. This lose.
Let's get uh, everything on him. Alright, we had a weight on him of, oh, guys, it was three pounds. Hold on, let's get some, let's give him a drink quick. He's beautiful. Three right, pounds. See if we can get it out of this tree. Alright, he's shuffling between three pounds, three ounces, three pounds, two ounces. XP5. All right, that one was on the XP5. Oh, can't believe this, that man. This guy's a lot of line, too. All right, All right. hey, look at that. My, uh, look at that. My rod tip held up pretty good for pulling that out of the tree. Got it back. <laughs> we need that. Oh, shit. Whoa. All right, fell in that hole, guys. All right, see that hole? Right there. Not paying attention. All right. How you doing? I just fell in the hole. <laughs> oh. That'll get your blood pumping. So, look, man, I imagine somebody walking right over there, and then one minute you see him, next minute you don't. They ended up in that hole I just fell in. Full of excitement. Woo! All right. All right, we'll get this. Line tied up here. Wow, that was a lot of line. I think I seen where it was frayed at too. Thank God. Wow, my ankle is like really killing me right now. I went down, folks. I went down. Bunch of stuff going on. But this is what happens when you're filming your content for, you know, and I'm not leaving any of this crap out. It is what it is. I fell. Who cares? That small mouth was worth it. Was worth it. Sorry guys, I'm putting this short out real quick. I right, love putting these shorts pounds, out. Three ounces, three pounds, two ounces. XP5. All right, that one was on the XP5 from my monthly Monster Bass subscription. You guys go ahead and see. All right guys, we got a beautiful small mount on the XP5 I received from Monster Bass. He is beautiful. We're gonna wake on him too. All right guys, here we go. Where's that thumbs up at? Um, but this is going to be a short. We're going to get a length on him. And oh, finger. Wings. We need the finger, guys. Uh, finger. Uh, there we All go. Right, let's get uh, everything on him. Look at that there. All right, we had a weight on him. Of, oh, guys, it was three pounds. Hold on, let's get some. Let's give him a drink quick. He's right, beautiful. You, three you pounds, stay two there. ounces. Alright, he's shuffling between three pounds, three ounces, Not you, three pounds, man. two ounces. Got it. There we go. XP5. Alright, that one was on the XP5 from my monthly Monster Bass subscription. How do I turn this around? These guys, go ahead. 
Alright, All right, guys, we got a beautiful smallmouth on the uh, XB5 I received from Monster Bass. He is beautiful. We're gonna get a weight on him, too. Alright, guys, here we go on the XB5. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. I got it on the GoPro right now. Um, but this is How do I do pointer short. finger? We're gonna get a length on him and a weight. Oh my god. Point their finger. Where are you? Point their finger. Right there. There we go. Three pounds, two ounces. Damn. All right, you shuffle in between three pounds, three ounces, and three pounds, two ounces. I think the subscribe button's right there. I'm not sure though. All right, that one was on the XB5 from my monthly Monster Bass subscription. You guys, go ahead and. All right, guys, we got a beautiful small mouth on the uh, XP5 I received from Monster Bass. The leap. Done. All right, guys, here we go on the XP5. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful small mouth. On Three point. Three pound smallie on Excite Baits XB5 from my Monster Bass box. As I said, Gotta do a thing there, you know. Um, oh, let's do one for Excite Baits too. Pound. Because I, I like that guy. He was on the Monster Bass. Um, he was on the uh, Monster Bass thing uh, live last week. Oops. Spell correctly, Lou. Excite baits. Bingo. All right. All oh, titles too long. Oops. Let's see if we can put XB5. Let's see. Can we do that? Yeah, it will allow it. All right, sweet. Comma. Always put your commas at when you're doing shorts, guys. Always put your comma. And gotta put down. All right, I'm excited. Wow, wow. All right, we got this off. Let's get it retied back up. Um, I ha I really got to switch back to my 17 pound though. I've never had so many problems with uh, line fraying or, you know what I mean? So easily. Um, this is 14 pound that I have on this right now. And it's still frayed. I don't get it. But anyway, all right. Uh, yeah, let's get back out there. Let's, th let's keep throwing this XB5, see what else we can get. Man, it's a grind, folks. It's a grind, but you know what? It's worth. It's well worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, it smells like fish. What did I do here? All right, where's my...
something to come out of that tunnel I'm assuming because that's where the bait fish would come out what the heck did I just do the sun's starting to peek out I can't believe I just fell that really sucks it hurts too Son of a beehive. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to sing. I want to sing, 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 sing. We didn't get a length on that guy. I said we were, too. I, get, I just got too excited. I was grinding out here this morning with my homemade bait. All right, let me let some line out because my fingers aren't working right right now. Fingers are frozen, people. Oh man, I love you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see the full catch. I can't wait for you guys to watch this video, period. Let's go get some more. We got about another, I think, hour or so. That line broke, definitely broke off where I saw that fray at. It was probably, it probably happened from a rock or something. Yeah, it was definitely that wind that took it earlier. Oh, crap, man. I'm gonna have to get some new line on this. I lost a lot of line. Now, I heard you have to, um, what is it, burp those smallmouth if they come from below 20 feet? Oh, I forget what it's called. Burp is the wrong thing. All right, I was just swimming it normal, so that's what we're going to do with this XB5. Um, but with my other one, my chartreuse one, I've, I've always, it, it seems like they change something inside of these because I'll tell you, with my other one, I would be able to pop that, or it could be, you know what? It could be the current here, right now. The current right now could be messing with everything on this bait, because of how it's designed. You see how when I cast it over there, end up over there, it's definitely the current, so. Oh, please come out, stay out. Yes, Lord, you are shining on me. Thank you. Now we have to catch one on the uh, coontail worm. We've caught one on every monster bass bait that they sent me so far. Lost the seeker yesterday. I'm really upset about that one. Um, I saw some line right there though. I, I was picking, I kept picking it up with my uh, homemade bait this morning. See, with this current, too, like you can barely feel the wobble. That was a really nice smallmouth, built well, uh, eating very, very healthy. Uh, great patterns, too. Great, great patterns.
All right, we're gonna throw that coontail right over there. See if we can get us on a couple little ones. There's gotta be some little ones over there that I wanna eat. Key with the XB5 is you have to slow it down, okay? That wobble, that wobble will do it, the work for you. It has such a unique wobble. Just slow it down. Let it do its job. It's an intense bait. Once you get to know how to use it, you guys seen my chartreuse one that I have. My it's called uh, chartreuse with black back. You guys have seen that one. I mean, it, it, it's tore up. I've caught many of bass and pike on that. Many. I hope we got good shots on the GoPro. Man. It's so cold out here, I don't even know. One more cast and then we're gonna toss that coontail, see if we can get something in the same video on it. I don't like to piece together my videos, guys. I just like to put down, you know, what I do, the day I do it. I think it's more, it's a little bit more realistic. And I don't have to take videos that I caught, a fish I caught a couple months ago, or, I, I just don't save all that like that. I just put it out when I catch them. I think uh, it's better for you guys too. You guys get a genuine, um, genuine catch. There's a couple other YouTubers that are doing that too. They are actually, you know, posting the videos that catch or adding it and telling you it's this day, it's the next day. Being honest with you. You know? Who should I collab with, guys? I want to collab with somebody. And I don't care. I'll freaking bother them all you want. You let me know which YouTuber you guys want me to collab with. And I'll do my best to try and make it happen. Or, hey, even if it's a, uh, a professional angle. You know who I would love to fish with, man? Not for nothing. Uh, Roland Martin or Scott Martin. Either one of those two. I love I love those guys. I mean, they they don't hide their their faith in God. Love that about them. And I'm not preaching religion. Oh, I'm not preaching religion or anything like that. Because whoever you you know, whoever you praise, you know that's that's you. That's your religion, your culture. And I'm not knocking anybody's religion at all. I love that people have their own religion and their, you know, their own God. I mean, even atheists, they, they, hey, they have something they, you know, they, uh, that's a, um, their belief. You know what I mean? That is what it is. No problems with any. And I don't force any religion, any any of my beliefs on anyone. Love you all. I'm so glad that you can. I'm so glad that you guys can be out here with me. That, that's what makes me happy. The fact that you guys can be out here with me and see me catch all these beautiful fish every day. And it's not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep bringing to you what I love. Even though I am going through some financial strain right now, financial difficulty, we'll figure it out, guys. We always do. We'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Just remember, if you are going through any, anything mental, mental um, financial, 
whatever you're going through you can do it just have faith in yourself and and in the higher power you believe in and things will come right together for you All right, we gotta throw that cone tail. I'm over here, yeah, I'm gonna draw. We gotta get that, it, the, the visibility, the water clarity is not bad for it, so. Not bad at all. All right, XP5, thank you. I could kiss you, but you probably hook me. Uh, and if you guys go back in my videos, you can see that I said a long time ago, that this was my favorite bait, the best jerk bait. I mean, I called it the best jerk bait in the world. That's, I mean, not jerk bait, um, crank bait. And that's just how I feel. You know, that's my own personal preference. Everybody has their own preference, and that, that's just mine. All right, let's see if we can get one on that. We have it on a half moon. It should stay on the bottom, hopefully. Are we on the trees? Can't see. I got eight pound floral on this. I can't really. There we go. Now we're not. Yeah, we got eight pound floral. Um, I made some adjustments just so I can get um, a better hookup ratio so they can't see it as well. I hit. Alright, there we go. Fishing heavy current right now too. Moving water, love it. There we go. Got it back from the wind. Can't tell if it's the wind or a fish. We got him. No, nope, we don't. We got a snag. All right, let's let it let you. And then, all right, when you get a snag like this, see if the current will will push it out. Let give it some slack. Yep, and see what happens. The current took it and, pull, and pulled it out. Check your line. Make sure there's no frays at all. Okay, good. Yeah, it was just in, it was probably just stuck in between a rock or something. So just give it some slack, and hopefully, that if there's a, if there's a strong current, it'll pull, it should pull it out. Here, always catch a nice largey out there. Let's see, Let's see if we can get something to come out of the weeds over there.
Let's see what happens when we swim this. It has a pretty good motion. So, let's see what happens when we swim it back. Let it hit. Slowly. Looks like a little bluegill, probably. Yeah, it has that, that tail, that tail has a lot of action to it. So, dude, I am pumped right now. All right, guys, well, listen, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed that catch. I did. I love you all, and thanks for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, go out and fish with somebody. It's getting cold, but you know what? Get out there and do it. I'll be doing this for you guys all fall, all winter, and we're going to make sure we get it done. Remember, guys, that tug is a drug. Go get you some love yous all.